Greetings fans and welcome again to another episode of this show and uh, continue from where we left Cigarette consumption Cigarette consumption is always a problem Don't ever be fooled that uh, it is fun or it benefits you in any way it might help you in it has no biological benefits to the body and just fun getting you high by altering the functioning, the functioning of your nervous system that is but it doesn't benefit you so nutrition and so and continued or long term use of these of the drugs or cigarettes always leads to harms. Always leads to harm in the head. It doesn't benefit you and it doesn't lead you to harm. That. So most of these cigarettes or the drugs, there are two ways. The way you eat it, the effects on the body, and uh, that is if you eat the way you ingest see that and there it works on your body that is for the cigarettes and opium the smoke destroys the lungs and then the, the chemical the nutrition the, the contents that you want from inside us for cigarettes most of us used to want the nicotine inside it so the nicotine also has its own effects on the world on the body two the two things that you go and the professor and the doctors might have their own what they are all in ways, they are all info about that, detailed info about this. And they can help the, the addicts or people in this problem, people in these conditions better than I am doing. And most of it, you have to look, this world has to look for, or the tobacco companies have to look, need to look for better ways of concern, consuming their stuff, their products, better ways than smoking, burning the tobacco, the smoke, the cigarette, the smoking them, and then it goes inside to your inside your body, destroying your lungs and the general system, that uh, respiration and the that's uh, the lungs and the general system that smoke follows. Until you get the nicotine from the smoke, it damages, it hurts the alveolar in the lungs. And the best way, the best thing, is for these companies to look for ways of ways of how we can consume their products. Scientific, modern, 21st century techniques of eating, techniques that will be different from just smoking and smoking the opium see that the smoke goes inside and destroys the lungs you see and things of that kind we need the, the smoke hurts the body it has the lungs and uh, that is one problem see that that is another problem and other people who could be having different problems with everybody see that their own experiences with the, the same cigarettes and opium and uh, that is a problem but in our case now we want us to quit and stop truncate it immediately we want us to wake up tomorrow we are not smokers anymore so that's how it happened that is how we want it and that's how we want it to happen and uh, In our case, we want us to somebody to help us to break the link between what the spell, what the, what holds us today. So, actually, for some of us, for those who have gone for a long time, long time consumers, and they've gotten hooked onto to the habit. So when you don't smoke that, you feel as if you are missing something in your system and you need to refill it, that kind of thing. 
that that kind of thing will need uh, uh, advanced scientific chemical ways of doing what of solving these things the way you feel hungry someone feels the same on a cigarette or a tot of whiskey or a roll of bang see that and they want to get break this thing and get it finished and get rid of it out of there their lives so in our case we just went there for fun <laughs> high school boys discovering the world the first time Gave, having their fr <laughs> their f having the, the power to decide for themselves what to eat and not to, away from father away from papa papa used to dictate you and uh, now you have gone to the world you are discovering the world people come there some have eaten i've known opium for <laughs> You know this one, discover, you know yourself, you know what's happening among the people around you, you know about the happening, the way they live their lives, what they look like. So, um, I got into it. I used not to feel hungry for, not like hunger, but I just find myself doing what? Smoking and smoking and smoking to keep to keep some emptiness me to keep me doing something just to keep me doing something not idling you see that just don't want to sit idle so when you try to idle for some a few minutes then you find yourself your hand reaching for another word stick of cigarette you tap the packet <laughs> you pick up <laughs> and smoke it again and then when you finish that stick and you start seeing something like you are idling, oh, you are doing nothing without knowing it. Your hand is reached for another one, another stick of cigarette. You are smoking it. You are doing opium. You are doing cigarettes the whole day. You only rest when you go to do what? To the garden or to the classroom. You work on the farm, you come back, or you driving to the city center to do a lot. Supermarket, do other things. But when you come back, it is beyond control. You see that? Mm -hmm. It is beyond, beyond control. You cannot hold yourself from doing what? From getting a cigarette and... Uh, so that's how we managed. We, we managed to escape that thing. But those who have... See, <laughs> those who have feel some emptiness in them, in them, the way we feel empty, hungry, that is for food. And they too feel the same. But that is... In this problem, each and every moving human body have their own problems, their own different stories, their own different versions of the same same story, and how so and how they want to about it. And to achieve that, each and every one has a what in order for them to be able to break the habit and stop smoking, they all need different. There might be different ways that. Each and every one to want to get themselves free, set themselves free from the drug, whatever they eat. So in order to do that, you need to know this. You need to know what so and so is going on through and I want to quit. And then you, after knowing that you'll be able to decide and draft a plan, a way of helping the people to do what? To quit whatever they used to eat or smoke. So you need it all. You need to know that. And you have to listen to the, the patient's story in order to know and understand them. You must be, you must have some experience in that world. The doctor hasn't been there before. He only went to college, the university. So how you know that? I don't know. But each and every one of us have their own ways of doing what? <laughs> their own ways of doing that. So, for the doctor, I think we need a chemical formula that will create enmity and hatred between the consumers and the cigarettes, the consumers and the opium. Ah. The whiskey that you do it. But you are hooked on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
mostly you need something to drive your mind away. I don't know whether necessarily you work in this case, but you need something to keep you away. Just keep them away. You break it. When they want, after feeding them, when you think they can go back to that, you give them a dose of anesthesia again. You sleep. Tomorrow, then you have gone two days without doing that. Of the third day, you will plan it. And the third day, after them going without a cigarette, without a dose, and then you start telling them that fooling them with the environment. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. And then when you get something for that, especially something that brings in money, then they start fooling the whole thing. So that's how it is. We need each and every situation and condition need special techniques and formula of treatment. So for someone like me, that is my case. If I were to tell you, if I were to help someone, it would be different from the doctor's ways of helping. <laughs> so that's how it is in the... So now, we have to start. Now we have to do what? I'll tell you my story, how it started. And that is my wife, my family, and the doctor. This is not psychological. After eating, smoking the opium, or eating, 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 continuing to eat, inside, going inside, the body has touched in the metabolic system. We have extracted the nicotine and the, the cotton. Now it, it is circulating in your system. So you cannot treat it through mm, psychological means. You get a biological means. At least you put something to do what to do. So that's how it is. Especially the means people have means. Hmm? Means that go with what? Or snacks? Or just what you call drinks? People like to take things like coffee, sodas and like coffee and cocoa and tea. For some people, eating works better than that. It's sweeter than sugar when you mix opium, smoke a cigarette over a bottle of beer, or smoke a cigarette over a glass of black tea. It's very sweet for us. This thing is vast and it is very, 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 very. There are many varieties, many ways of getting the sweetness out of the cigarette and out of the oil. But for my case, to the psychological case, and if you are to combine and create a good technical, good procedures and a good technical getting this, uh, hmm? you combine them to create something very that will be effective now for the what? For, to get, break the links between the, the consumer and the, and the cigarettes or whiskey or opium. And if you have to combine this, this, the psychology, the psychological, uh, the psychological part of it will help, might help a doctor, hmm? might help us heal the biological part of it, you see that, by knowing when and how to do what, when and how to stop the patient from being what? When he maybe one to each one and said, you hold the hand like a friend and they make it a, a war, a fight, you know, make friends and then. So that's how it is. So we are going to tell you, or I'm going to tell you about the psychological technique of breaking the spell, the power that links you to your heart, to your cigarette or roll of opium, and, uh, and then you break and die. If successfully, if 
I escaped slavery in that world. Why can't the rest of us do the same? See you next time, the next episode of the same one of this show.